Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the fifth update for my 2024 project pan. Now, if you're completely new, I have posted three videos so far in my project pan series for this year. My intro video, then updates one and two is one video and updates three and four is one video. I will link them up in the eye so that you can go watch this from the beginning if you haven't seen anything. But I did say in the last video that I was intending to keep going with doing the two updates in one. I thought it was a bit more interesting, gives you a bit more meat, a bit more development on the product use to look at. However, as is my prerogative, I am doing a complete 180 on that and bringing you update five as a standalone video just because there's two particular changes that I want to document in their own video. I think it'll be too much chat to do two updates and one for what I think will happen between both this update and the next one. I think there's going to be quite a few changes in the next update as well, quite a few exciting developments. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now I'm going to give you one of the most exciting changes straight up front, first product, and it is my foundation. So this is from Armani. It's called the Supreme Glow Reviving Tinted Cream. And it's finished completely empty. I am so, so pleased. I have had this for literally years at this point. I've said this in every video, the packaging is big, it's cumbersome, it doesn't fit in the drawer with my other foundations, so I don't look at it when I'm choosing out a foundation to use for the day. So it's just been sitting, being forgotten about purely because of the packaging. It's actually a lovely foundation. It's not super high coverage, it was quite kind of I mean it's called a tinted cream rather than a foundation and I think that's the right kind of word for it. Very low coverage just smooths the complexion out but such a beautiful natural look like you wouldn't really think you had anything on but whilst still doing something, you know how sometimes I look at these tinted moisturisers and I think that is doing nothing. This definitely is doing more than a sort of average low coverage tinted moisturiser but it just looks like nothing on the skin. It's so so beautiful and I actually to be honest I would be tempted to repurchase this but I wouldn't because of the packaging. That That's the honest truth. I've had this for so long. The reason I've had it for so long is because of the packaging. I wasn't organically reaching for this. I had to put it in this project to actually get the use out of it and finish it up. So I know there would be no point in me repurchasing this, but it definitely would be a packaging choice not to repurchase it. The actual product is beautiful. So if you are interested in this and you don't think the packaging would be an issue for you, I would really highly recommend it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I am super pleased to say that that is an item finished through this year's project pan and that is a foundation out of my collection which I have a big goal on using my foundations up this year so really excited to be able to add that to my quarter three empties. The second makeup product that I've got is this which is the Kiehl's actually I think sold this as an eye cream but it does have a coverage to it so it's sort of in between an eye cream that's an SPF eye cream and a bit of a concealer. So I don't love this but I didn't dislike it enough to declutter it and I don't think you can actually get it anymore so let's just talk about the usage which at the last update this was 10 grams. At the end of July when I weighed this this was down to 9 grams so I think for update number 6 this will definitely be cut open because I'm finding it very difficult to get product out of it and it's really runny. So I actually think the majority of the product has probably come out. So this is my last update before I cut it open. That was partly again why I wanted to film this because I wanted to show it in its last kind of in full format as such. But I am hopeful that once I open it there's not going to be loads of product clinging around the sides. I think that's the good thing about a kind of runny product, you usually don't have a lot left to use once you cut it open. But it's sometimes a slightly thicker product, you cut it open and then you've got like still months of usage when you've thought you're on that kind of home stretch. I think this will be the last time that we see this in this project in its whole form and I'm hoping that maybe the next update will be me telling you that this has also now finished and left the project. So fingers crossed.
Next product to update you on is my Marc Jacobs blush. So my aim for that within this project is to use it 100 times. In the last month I used it 16 times and that brings my yearly usage so far to 53 uses in the project. So I've got 47 to go before I hit the goal. I'm still really enjoying it, but given we are now over halfway through the usage goal, there's still really not much in the way of visual change. Enjoying using it enough that I'm not deterred by the lack of visual change. Less and less hopeful that 100 uses is actually going to result in very much of a change in this product, unfortunately. But yeah, we're, we're at the halfway point, so we'll see. Sometimes, like, you know, it's you chip away and chip away and there's, like, absolutely nothing for ages and then it goes really quickly at the end. So maybe within another 50 uses we will have pan. Fingers crossed, I would love to see that, but given we are at now over 50 uses and I don't think you can really tell, um, I don't know if it's realistic or not, but we will keep it in the project, we'll keep using it and we will get the 100 uses and then we'll see what that looks like. A product that there definitely is visual change on is my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlight. You will see in the cutaways better but this has definitely gone down. The product has been clinging to the edges for the last little while but I've basically cleared out like two full sides of this now. So I think by the next update I'll have cleared off this bottom here. Uh, there is quite a build up of product in this corner so that's where the work is going to be left. But I had quite a lot left along the bottom, which I think by the next update will be cleared off. Um, and then it will just be a case of working down the side and then the little bit of build up here. So I think this will maybe be in another three updates. Like I think one for the, well, I'm calling this the top or the bottom, depending on, you know, it's the bottom if you hold it up kind of the proper way. But the top, if I'm holding it, the easier way to show you. So... One more update I think to clear this off, one update to clear this off and then one to just sort of excavate into what's in the corner here. I'm really really pleased with this. Again, really like this highlight, I think it's super super pretty. I'm positive that this is going to be finished within the project and I think that'll be the first highlight, the first powder highlight that I've ever finished. I am very excited about that. The last makeup product that's in my project is my Lisa Eldridge lip gloss. I continue to use this but there's not really any visual change. It is definitely windowing, I think I said that it had that at the last update though, so it's not really a huge change since then. But yeah, we will see, I will continue to use it. I would like to definitely be able to say that I finished it within the year, but at the moment I still get enough product coming out that I don't think I'm close to taking the stopper out or anything. And I think in terms of like what's around the side here, it's still pretty opaque looking. So I think even once the stopper comes out of this, there's going to be a lot of product left to use. So I don't know that it's 100% realistic to think it'll be gone within this year. But yeah, so I've got five more months. So we'll see. We'll see what we manage. Next update I will talk about is my Redken Extreme Anti Snap. So I use this again, this has come down a very similar amount every single month. Looking at the usage in this though, clearly this is not going to be finished within this project. And I have quite a lot of blow dry balms and things. So you will not be surprised, I don't think, if you watched my hair care six month inventory update to know that I am actually taking this out of the project. Purely because I'm definitely not going to empty this within a year by keeping it in the project looking at what the usage has been and I have got so many minis and things that are just kicking about that I really really want to reduce by the quantity of this year and the only way that I'm going to use those up is if I stop using this. So this is actually getting removed from the project 
I will put it on the back burner, I'm not decluttering it or anything, I will probably bring it back into some kind of future project. But my main goal here is to actually try and finish some products up, so I am switching that out and switching this in. It's from Virtue and it's their 6-in-1 styler, so you use this on wet hair basically in the same place that I would have used the Red Ken in my blow dry routine. So this is obviously a little mini, I am hoping by putting these in that it'll take kind of two updates to finish each of them. That is the hope. I have started by weighing this one. This is coming in at 15 grams. This one I had, I don't think I've used at all. It feels pretty full. So I'm giving myself two updates to use this one up. Once I finish this, I will rotate in another mini. Some of the minis I have started using, so I'm kind of hoping if I have two that take two updates looking at the ones that I've used, if I take the one I've used the most of, that I should be able to knock three out over the next five months. Fingers crossed that is the plan, so this is the intro to a new product in the project. The next product to update you on is my Origins Facial Mist. So that has come down another good little chunk here. I again think maybe another two updates and this will be done. So possibly one, I don't know because it does, there's not like a rim to this bottle, it does go like right down to the bottom. It might be one but there is the full kind of whack left of what you're seeing from here to right down here. So one to two uses and I think this will be done. For my Beauty Pie Foot Cream, at the last update this weighed 41 grams and at this update this weighs 36 grams. So it's come down by another 5 grams. Obviously some of the 36 grams is the packaging. Um, so I'm hoping if I can kind of say that I'll take, say, 6 grams to take it to a nice round number of 30 grams, say 6 grams off for packaging leaves me 30 grams and I've got 5 months left to use. So if I use like 6 grams a month basically, I should definitely finish this within the project. Um, I really, really like this foot cream so I do enjoy using it when I remember to use it and yeah, hopefully it'll be, it'll be done by the December update or for the December finale, rather than update, I suppose. My penultimate product is another reason I wanted to film this as a standalone video. This is my Guerlain shower gel, and as you guys can see, there is not a lot left. So I am actually hoping that by the next update this is going to be finished. If not the next update, the update after at an absolute push, but I definitely think this could be out by the next update. So yeah, I just wanted to make sure to show you that, show you it on its final dregs before. Hopefully in the next update I'll be showing you an empty bottle, fingers crossed. And the last item which ties in with that of course is my Mongerland perfume. So this is now what we are down to on this perfume. So I think after I hit here this bottle starts to, to close in. So I think although this probably looks like maybe another three updates this could actually be two. I mean if I hold it upright and you look at what's actually left the majority of this bottle is used up now. So. I am hoping, not not the next update, I don't think the next update is realistic, but I think the update after that I will have finished this, which I'm very pleased about because I will probably put not a finish goal but a usage goal on a perfume into my 12 Pants of Christmas project pan. So if I can get this one finished in the next two updates, that kind of opens the door then for me to get good usage on another perfume through that project. This is everything that's left and... Hopefully not next update, but the next one, this will also be done.
that is everything for this update thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it just said i will be doing my 12 pans of christmas project pan towards the end of the year and i do also have my five by fall project pan running at the moment so if you like project pan content i'll link the five by fall playlist up on the end card and i would love if you would hit the subscribe button so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in my next one bye